Hey Brad, what are you looking at? Oh, hey Jeff. So I need to come up with a new production standard for a towel we produce. So I pulled up how many cases we produced per hour over the last three months to get some data to work with. I had to do that too. I just took the average of all the production runs. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No man, easy peasy mac and cheesy. What? Mac and cheesy! I don't like lemons. Well, I'm lactose intolerant. I can't eat cheese. Well, anyways, I could take the average, but some of the data doesn't reflect what a normal production run would be. Well, good luck. I got better things to do. They're handing out free string cheese in the break room. I gotta go. Hi, Brad. Looks like you're digging into some data. Why does it say mad average? I didn't know averages had feelings. MAD stands for Mean Absolute Deviation. It measures how variable the data is. But that's a lot of words to fit into a spreadsheet. Are you working on a production standard too? I just used the mode for mine. The number that occurs most in a data set? Nice. Yeah, that makes the most sense to me. Besides, I got better things to do. Mean Absolute Deviation will help me get a more accurate set of data. Many things can happen during a day on the floor. Let's see what happens when I calculate the MAD to find the upper and the lower thresholds. Well, Jeff took the average of all the data. While that might sound like a good idea, there were some very low production days due to raw material issues and mechanical issues. Because those don't reflect a normal production run, it wouldn't be a good idea to include that data when coming up with a production standard. That makes sense. I never thought I'd use mean absolute deviation in real life. It's a good thing I had some great math teachers. Hey, this free string cheese has your name on it. That's my lunch, man.